Welcome, friends of all designs. Hello, Paul. <laughs> to <laughs> Eight and a Half Bit presents FMV Games. Woo. Well, maybe we'll call it Eight and a Half Bit Live. We don't know. I don't we're know. talking about this we stuff. We probably should sort out branding. Uh, things. Yeah, marketing. I am your host, Paul, and joining me today are my good friends, James. Hello. And Anae. Hello. And thank you for joining us tonight. We've got quite, a, quite an enjoyable you're, show, you're very, if we do say so. dapper. Well, it's because I just recently brushed my hair with this brush right here. And oh, no, not the cable too. But there's, uh, below the camera, there's a monitor that I can see because we've got to talk about how the show works. <laughs> but it's not it's not flipped, so a mirror. So it's surprisingly difficult to use <laughs> as a mirror. You can Before, do it, I, I went like that, it. but I, it, I forgot which side the rest of my head was on. I went like that, and <laughs> oh, that kind of messed up. You've just broken your hair. Remem now you're less dapper. Remember the first year we met uh, Ron Gilbert, he had a haircut like this, and it was terrible. Yeah, I couldn't we, tell him we didn't tell him that though. The rest really. of my head's on that side. Now his hair that is that side. That side. Good work, man. It's the hair show. Yeah. Welcome to the hair show, starring me, <laughs> Paul. Anyway, uh, video games happened this week, mm. and we enjoyed many of them. I did. Actually, quite a lot of video games. Yeah, I normally try to get work done on the weekend, mm. uh, and this week I was lazy, Yay. so I just played a bunch of video games. That's what they're for. Yes. Okay. Yep. Do we do we just jump into games, or do we do small talk? I don't know. Maybe all, all talk forced. James does is small. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're a little man. I am. I'm sure. You're a tiny we, fellow. We were talking about Paul lowering the chair this week, yeah. just to kind of make because we were having dinner before the show. Sometimes we like to hang like good friends, uh, and there was uneven height on the seating. And for the first time in a long time, I was at eye level with Paul. Hey, Paul. How's it feel? Welcome, friends. Of <laughs> FMV games. <laughs> <laughs> oh good. Okay, uh, I think that's enough for now. Yeah. How are you, Anna? I'm How good. Any any you? fun adventures? Not really. Did you do work or games on the weekend? Work ish. Mm. Yeah, ish. Life work, like housework. Oh, like life work. Like I still need to do my tax. Don't tell oh, the tax. Don't tax tell. Me too. Don't, <laughs> don't tell the ATO. I haven't done my yeah, tax yet. Neither. Remember that year you ended up owing a lot of tax. Yeah, this year I I should actually I feel get some like back. That's gonna happen. Can me. we talk about tax now? Ooh, the tax show. Stuff. Okay, on on other adult things. <laughs> <laughs> I finally bought that house I've been talking about since the show began. Yeah, it's done. It's how'd, mine. How'd the move go? We already moved like a few weeks ago. Nice. I like how you didn't ask me to help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I don't no, like I seriously that. like that you didn't ask for help. I, I asked a couple of people to come by and they're like, oh, I don't want to help you move. And it was legitimately to move like five things. No. And I'm like, oh, are we done? It's like, yeah, yeah. I just need you to get the fridge <laughs> and that really big couch. Like, oh, we'll help you get the washing machine. It's like, really, you don't need to. It's just, a, I can just lift it up. Yeah. It's fine. Anyway, house moving stuff. Yeah. Video Adult games. Life. Yeah. James, and I've got, you played it as well. I hear you guys played Minecraft. Shitty story, mode. story telltale mode. So my my start of of Minecraft story mode was I loaded up, played it on PS4, um, and Cheryl was saw it and said, "Oh, is this Minecraft?" And I said, "Have you ever wanted to play Minecraft with none of the building?" And she very quickly said, "Nope," <laughs> while walking away. But it's got an uh, adorable pig that's busy <laughs> fucking <laughs> <at> the <end>. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so. <laughs> I think this sounds like so this this game ex expects you to know a thing or two about Minecraft. Mm -hmm. uh, I know very little about Minecraft, like the Minecraft culture. I understand Minecraft as a game. Uh, yeah, I've yeah, played yeah. a bunch of Minecraft, so there was a lot of Minecraft culture. Yeah, and it, I felt quite out of touch when I first started playing this because uh, you're an old man. Because I'm an old man who don't understand what the kids like. Yeah, uh, and because it it starts off, you're at like a Minecraft convention in the game. Like you're going to Endicon, and yeah. you're there to build with friends, and that's sort of how it starts. I I don't know if, if it's trying. I'm to, okay with that premise. Yeah, like I don't know if if it's trying to mimic what most people do in Minecraft, which is get together with friends and build stuff. Like if that's yeah. kind of the theme of the game, it's a little. I feel like it is. Yeah, because like that's the point of YouTube. At like least, you're all like, yeah. let's build something. Yeah, like at least to me together. that actually sounds more like what I'd want from it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is, you know, like normally Telltale games are not that much game. They're yes. Of, yes. This is especially not that much game. Mm. Um, in fact, I'd say this whole thing feels almost like a tutorial. 
Yeah. Uh, like, I played through all of it, and I would say I made very few actual decisions yeah. while playing it. I feel like a movie that occasionally yeah. pressed the screen. Yeah. Now, you... Oh. IOS. <laughs> I was playing it, so I was playing it on console. Yeah. And it has a very strange interface because Telltale have brought back the cursor. It has a cursor in it. I don't know how this works on, on, mo on mobile, but uh, in this, you walk around and you also push a cursor around the screen to interact with well, it. Well, I guess because there is a cursor in Minecraft. I guess. Yeah. A cursor kinda. in PS4, though? That's weird. Yeah, it like, it's a, like, I you got your little touch screen, though. I was expecting to walk up to things and activate it, like most Minecraft mm. games, most Telltale games, but no, I have to actually move the thing around. By the end, I didn't mind so much. It kind of let me look around the environment without having to actually walk around. I could just kind of push the cursor around. And... Is there much to do in the environment? Like, well, is there much flavor around? So, the first episode is very, very slow. Uh, and when I first started it, I didn't really like it that much. That seems like a bad idea for the first yeah. episode. First episode, you um, normally want to wham bam, because man, I think, right? Because this is like it's targeting younger audiences, and it's trying to be kind of like Telltale games for kids. Mm. And it takes a very long time to get any puzzles. I just noticed they're watching the footage. That basically it's oh, it's it's either hold or mash X. I'm you have mash. to mash. To yeah. do that, it's basically like the Lego games where it's like, let's just take away all creativity and just have yeah. you walk up to a yeah. pile and push the build button. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so it does eventually turn to something I liked. And that kind of surprised me. And what was that? Okay, so the characters by the end, I did quite like. Like if it's a game about the relationships between different people that play Minecraft, and I'm guessing it's a little bit about the dramas that come up when kids are playing together and different personalities trying to build things. I think and this is this could be a giant stretch, but I think that's what they're trying to get out of the characters, like seeing how they interact. I that sounds better than what I expected, yeah. which because what I expected from the trailers was a generic sort of kid adventure that just happened to me in Minecraft and didn't really matter too much. I'm not getting there. Yeah, I, I feel like there's something more going on there. Okay. Uh, How's Patton Oswalt? Who? Who? <laughs> the person doing the main character's voice. Ah, uh, he's all right. Who is that? How's the lady version of Patton Oswalt? I picked the. I picked the lady. So how's the lady sound? Ooh, all right. Yeah. I'll look. I'll look up Lady Oswalt. Yeah. Uh, where the game, at the very end, finally came into something which I think could be interesting, is. Is this spoilers? No, no. Let's talk about mechanics. So, throughout the game, you have an inventory. And they let you build things. So they bring up the, the Minecraft 3x3 three three grid and mm -hmm. let you put your stuff in there, and that's how you build stuff. Uh, so you get to somewhere near the end of the first episode, and you have to construct something to solve a puzzle. But they give you multiple options of things to build. So they show you some recipes, and then they say, right, f solve the puzzle. So you've got this, you've picked up various bits and pieces while you're playing in your inventory. Now, look at what you can build, manage those resources, and try and solve it. And it was a really easy puzzle still. Like, I still got through it. Uh, but I, I haven't played an adventure game before where I needed to craft my own items to solve the solution. Like, I thought that was kind of cool. Like, the, that felt crafty. The, the crafting for when you're building stuff, like, uh, like they build a tree fort, which I had up before, mm. that's dumb. Like, it's just you mash a button and it, and it builds in some kind of montage. Yeah. Um, and there's lots of just kind of like quick time events as well yeah and they were terrible like dumb. i don't mind quick time events like lots of people hate them like prefer quick time events rather than like well i, I like quick time events when they make sense to what i'm doing like i think yeah. i think walking dead had a lot of really good quick time events mm. um where this one is like oh you know i'm swiping to dodge or something like that mm. uh it has a combat system which yeah. is okay actual combat uh, yeah well you have health and you have to like basically tap to swing your sword, and you can kind of swap between targets. I can't stop myself from holding um, Toad's hand. Yeah, so is, it, is it comforting? <laughs> he's the hello friend. Yeah, he's, oh. he's a good friend. He is. Yeah. He's a very good friend. So, Patton yeah. Oswalt is Patton Oswalt. Okay. But Lady Patton Oswalt. Mm -hmm. And the reason I didn't remember is because she's Catherine Tabor, who I don't know. Ah. Oh, I don't know her either. She's done lots of voice work in like the Star Wars games, yeah. and Final Fantasy, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not a me thing. You know how Telltale are normally pretty good at like taking an art style and finding a way to put it into a game. Yeah. Like they generally sometimes. Sometimes. And, or how, how, about, or, how about the Jurassic Park game? Shh. It's, we don't we don't talk about that. Uh, or how with the Lego. <laughs> <laughs> Psych gags. So or with the the Lego movie, how they took they managed to take 
minifigs and animate them in a way that looked good. Yeah. I don't feel like they really nailed that with mm. Minecraft. Like, I, I don't really like the way they move. I think a mm. lot of the time the facial animation has a stupid grin on its face. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and the emote doesn't quite come across. Uh, I found it got better as I went along, and I think that's probably mainly the voice actors. Like, the voice actors do a pretty good job of delivering what they need to yeah. do. Uh, but by the end, I actually was really taken with it. I, like, enjoyed it. I think partially because mm. it was such an easy experience. Like, it was like, I'm, I like the characters. It's, I'm kind of curious to see where the story goes. Um, they they kind of the, the setup is pretty good with his character introduced and you find a little bit more about it and you can kind of it's intriguing like I'm intrigued to find out more. My question is, would you prefer it as like like a TV episode, like a movie? Ah, uh, that's a good question. Um, I do like that when there are decisions to be made about the dynamic of the mm. group and basically choosing sides and things like that. Like I think that is a meaningful decision. Like there's sort of like the new guy and the the old friend, but who do you do agree you, with? Do you want to build a castle or a dungeon? Well, they do ask you at one point what kind of thing you want to build, and what it's probably the most inconsequential. I built the tree. Uh, I built the tree house. You built the zombie. It was lame. Oh, no, lame. like, this is the coolest. Like, you guys are lame. Like, yeah, like, they give you, like, some kind of choices, but the building, I don't know. I, I want to see more of the... If they can flesh out the crafting puzzles, I mm. think that's a really cool way to push it. Yeah, I had to, like, build a sword, and I knew how to build a sword mm. from Minecraft. But if someone had never played Minecraft before, like, would they have? Been well, they'd able be able to, to get it. Things? Yeah, like I, I'm sure there was a bunch of stuff in that game that I just didn't get. It mm. kind of went over my head because I. But admittedly, there's a lot you just don't get generally yeah. in real life. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that like, my like microphone Pat is Oswald. Uh Yeah, I believe it's, it's, <laughs> it's, all, it's slightly attached to Mr. Producer's keyboard. <laughs> he likes to type. It's ghosts. <laughs> Let's build a uh, man. Yeah, like, like, if you have kids that like Minecraft, I think it's pretty accessible. Yeah. Um, like, I... What, what if you hate children? Well, I'm not a huge fan, and I liked it. Oh, you, so you played it on mobile. Yeah, on mobile. And so how was your experience with it? It was alright. Like, I didn't mind. Like, it was... Yeah, I saw in, like, the gameplay you played, it was, like, press X and, like, B or whatever yeah. the equivalent is. Um, there was none of that on iPhone, obviously. It was just, like, touch just a lot here. or, yeah. like, um, move, like, drag to move around the screen. And like click this thing to go to that location. Like at first, I didn't love it. I'm like, I don't care about these characters, and I felt it very kid-ish. Like mm. you know, the dialogue was like, "Hey, that's so cool. You guys are losers." <laughs> yeah, it is. Like it's really. You're all losers, kids. <laughs> it's really heavy-handed when it comes in, mm. and there is like they have basically the tunnel rats from uh, from Fallout Three. That's what they likened to. <laughs> they're like the the ocelot mean gang. Yeah. But that's one of the people in that group is one of the ones that eventually <gasps> comes. You become friends with them, well, and you learn that everyone has something to offer and just be well, yourself. Maybe. It was the power inside you all along, It was, James? it was. Oh. And the more I know. <laughs> Sorry, I got a whole well, like, Minecraft for teaching us these things. Well, I, I actually thought it was good, because like, the setup was, here's a mean group we don't like. And then it's like, oh, but actually one of these characters, they say, oh, you know, he's okay, he's not that bad, just get to know him. And yeah, like he turns out like yeah, he's alright. A right. bunch of gamer gators. <laughs> no, <laughs> gamer gators didn't came up in the it actually. Did, it no, didn't. It didn't. No, it didn't. Mm. Oh. There was nothing about. I'd like that. I'd, I'd like if they use Minecraft to like heal to the wounds. Heal the gamer gators from this experience. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, can we talk about a different game? Sure. sure. All right. <laughs> a game that you played. Sure. Uh, it's not just about me. It's just that it's an, it's, it's sounds like you. a little kids game. <laughs> it, well, it it is, but like. Like the Lego movie, I think there's still something You think there. it might have some more meat I, to it in the end? Uh, Where we'll all grow as I people? Think, and... I just think it's going to be a well-told story. I, I, I enjoyed that first episode. What's your favourite moral to learn, Anne? Eh? Bullies are bad? Uh, you know, a bully is just a victim upside down. What? So turn a bully upside down and stake their fucking money. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Good um, advice. Good, good advice. I played a few games this week. What did you play, Paul? I played Mushroom Eleven. Okay, all right. This this is an Australian game, right? Is it? I don't know. I think it is. Quick, keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> Tell uh, us more. Mushroom Eleven is a weird physics-based puzzle game, uh, and it, it is interesting in that this is like the most uh, touchscreen mobile friendly interface ever which doesn't I believe have any mobile touchscreen version um, basically you are well they call you a mushroom but really you're more of uh, like a, 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 it's a 
it's a type of algae they talk about that just like <laughs> constantly spreads. So basically, you have a maximum size you are, yeah, and then you just keep wiping out parts of you so that you grow in other directions. So you sort of got to push your algae body around the world. But algae just doesn't sound as sexy as mushroom. So if you split off a piece, no, it, they're still fine. Okay, you've so, got to clean them up. So so what's the bit like? Is it just the biggest mass is the one that it grows from? Like no, how it grows from all bits. Okay. So if you if you left like a little piece somewhere and then we're wiping out everything else, yeah. it would grow on that little piece in effect. So it, it, it's actually really so what this does it creates this weird motion in the game where you can you sort of you can sort of run by pushing them in certain directions. You can try to do jumps. You're obviously trying to climb over lots of strange cultures. You have fights. Also, they're out of New York. Big one. They're from New York. So you're completely I was wrong. One hundred percent. Yeah. That's what I like to see. <laughs> uh, but they will be at PAX uh, yes. next next week. So, um, so they must be Australian. No, they're just coming. Oh, they're like they're, nice they're one of they're one of the big uh, things one night. Talking about Mushroom Eleven because it's what all the kids are talking about. Getting some mushrooms up here. Yeah. So uh, I think the one thing the game is really beautiful. It yeah. has it's only seven levels, I believe. I've only played through five of them so far. Mm. Uh, but each one is a completely different area of this basically post-apocalyptic wasteland. I have never seen a game like this before. No, exactly. It's, it's completely Watch unique. out for the lava. Yeah, and notice I did. I just like wiped out the past yeah. of the the so, algae that was going to hit the lava it's, and it's moved just the past. One of these games that you just you get straight away. Pretty much, like it's. But the only thing against, I guess, is that it's hard. Ah, okay. Like this, like uh, this is level one you're watching at the moment. Once you start having to try and balance a bunch, of, like. You know, you'll be on moving pro platforms trying to balance mm. whilst jumping between them and everything. And you're algae. Algae isn't... <laughs> isn't it's like it's just not an athletic thing, generally. No, no it's not. Um, not. Not the most agile. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but on that, you learn it, and you, you definitely get much better at it. Yeah. Um, and you just you learn all your little tricks and... The, about the worst thing is that you often have to do quite long stretches if you want to get... Because there's plant life and animals and stuff around, and you basically just absorb all life. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like, basically, this is one of those things where you're... Maybe you're the thing that wiped out the world. I don't know. I hope so. Yeah, I, really I hope, hope so, so, too. But if you're going to do a really long stretch, you end up just doing really fine. Because if you're watching the footage, you've got this big wipeout area. Like, But you can actually... That's left-click yeah. if you're playing with a mouse. If you right-click, it's actually just a little bit you're mm -hmm. just taking a little fine and you can build it but because you don't know where it's going to grow from it just means you just got to sort of keep edging it so for you, ages so you can't like to, guide it to be where you want it to be yeah but you can't you can't you can't tell it where you want the so next bit to grow what's that kind of flower thing there it's like a checkpoint there's a checkpoint okay. yeah yeah um so it's sort of got the storytelling and one of the things that it struck me that i sort of realized that you know this is world wiped out this is kind of a minor thing but i think it just shows the thought of design mm. the world's wiped out you are potentially kind of a bad thing um, but what is bad, Paul? Well, exactly. What you is know. bad? But notice you're going from right to left. Ah, okay. Where yeah, generally no. the convention in reading and in, uh, in, like in platformers is you like go it. left to right. I want to go so clear, basically, like I take it that well, it starts at the end. Uh, That's what, I haven't yeah. finished it yet to see how the story ends up because the, the storytelling is quite minimal. Yeah, so it's all in the background. But it's like I assume we're gonna uh, it's gonna end. Is that, is that you where, being obsessive well, compulsive about your? Yeah. That, that, see, this is a, I'm saying like things where you're trying to stretch up. So at this yeah. point, I could where have just pushed it. Go? I'm trying to get those little uh, those little mushroom things up oh. at the top. So I wasn't I wasn't confident enough. Now at this point, I could just push from the bottom. Yeah, and go yeah. On, no problem. But I'm like, I don't know if he's quite caught onto that ledge yet. <laughs> so like, there we go. Just push him up. There get there. Go. Get the stuff. So like. Now I could do that thing with no problem whatsoever. I could yeah. just push up and I'd be fine. But this is my first playthrough and I wasn't sure what I, it was going to work. <laughs> uh, but things like, you know, if something's in an area that if you go down there, you'll die, mm. well, you just drop off a piece of you down there and it'll go down and grab it and the rest of you still alive. So it's it's a really, really unique... It looks looks really good. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm really impressed. It's got a great art style and, yeah, I, I couldn't have been more impressed with yeah. it. Yeah, and I could see this on mobile would... Yeah. Would work really well. Is it on mobile yet? No, I don't know What's if there's any plans. Mushrooms Mushroom 11. Eleven. I don't know. It's just sort of got a great name because uh, it doesn't seem to mean anything to me. Mm. Yeah, um, but it's got a, like the background art styles, the storytelling through it. Yeah. yeah so That's they're cool. kind of doing the storytelling like through the things in the background. And yeah, yeah. And you go through and the design because the enemies that you come against. You're quite uh, large too. 
Yeah, it's weird. Sometimes you feel big and sometimes you mm. feel tiny. Just depending on what you need, what, what you're supposed to be able to do. It's like, oh God, I wish there was twice as much as me then I could yeah, do this yeah. easily. Um, so, but then it's also all the levels are, the collectibles are just like the insects and animals going around, mm. mushrooms, all this stuff. So there's actually 50 things in each level. So at the end, it just gives you like, oh, you got 48 of them. Go on back. Go back and find the so, other ones. But, because, but each one, it's kind of like the, it's like Banjo-Kazooie level collecting, where each one is a little challenge. Mm. So it's not just like, just go along and you'll, you get them or whatever. We put 25 gold coins in this one run, just go sit there and grab them. It's each thing's got a little bit of placement, where you could run through it, and I suppose I spent most of my time getting all the collectibles. Yeah. You could, so some of the levels took me half an hour plus. Okay, they weren't short. There are quite long levels actually. Mm. Um, you could probably get through most in five, ten, if you just gunned it and forgot about everything else. Yeah. But even then, as the game goes on, you won't be doing that because the platforming gets really hard. Mm. But yeah, uh, really impressed. Yeah. Sure you are you big on platformers? Not massively. Like yeah. I enjoy them, but I won't like sit down and play them mm. for like hours. Because I'm not, I'm not that big on them, but mm. I do love new mechanics. Yeah, like and you can definitely appreciate that. Yeah. And, like, see that it's interesting. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, curious. I'm impressed. Curious or curious? It's on Steam. Though. How much we got there? Uh, I think it's like fifteen bucks. Fifteen dollars mm. up ten percent. Go it's thirteen fifty, but remember that's USD. Ah, oh, so it's like fifty Australian dollars. Yeah, it's it's seven million dollars <laughs> Australian at the moment. I spent two. I I bought a thing on Steam for Australian dollars this last night. It cost me. It's like seventy cents to the dollar. No. You know, since I've still got all that uh, that rich oh, max yeah. hat money, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been on Steam like great. Yeah, it's fantastic. Are you still are you still got your your card farming going? No, I've got all my cards. Yeah, I, I made like a good one hundred and fifty bucks. That. It was good. It got, kept me in the games. Yeah, that's not bad. I could, I could, I could have bought a, a, a Steam uh, Link yes. and a Steam controller, except that you can't buy them in Australia. Oh, um, oh we can't get them yet. Wait, are they even you've never, you, uh, yeah, you, other people starting to uh, receive them now. Oh really? Yeah, I'm they're curious. not officially out till November. It's, uh, but, but yeah, they're, they're Austral Australia, out, Australia, you can't pre-order them. Boo. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my Zoom? <laughs> Quick, Mr. Producer, hit the button! Hit the button! The blur button? My fingers are getting hot and sore! <laughs> They're getting sore! There we go. No, what's the thing? Oh, don't worry. Uh, no, no, worry. No, no, I'm not going to bother with what I was trying to remember. News! Let's news. talk about some news! I like news. Okay, so, a few fun things. Uh, first up, just because I think it's worth talking about, uh, the Dying Light expansion, which they're calling The Following, uh, that's coming out at the beginning of next year. Why I'm singling this out when, you know, obviously there's heaps of DLC and expansions that come out, is that Dying Light, you know, super successful. Basically, it's the follow-up to Dead Island that improved on everything. It made it a game about parkour. If you don't remember The Following, well, you see from the picture there when they're saying where it's coming out, it's about a wide-open landscape in vehicles. They have, they're abandoning the core mechanic of their game to build something new in it, mm. which is awesome, I think. So it's, it's that section of Half-Life 2 that I really liked. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then, then they're going to release another thing, which is you control giant ants. Yeah, and then yeah. the survival horror. Saying, and then bring in the survival horror? Oh, in the, oh, in the oh, horror. It's fair point, sir. That's just the nighttime sections oh. of Dying Light. Yeah. No, I still don't, don't, haven't got Dying Light. I, is it good? I hear like, it's very that good. That DLC looks cool. Yeah. Mm. So I'm like, I, I think good? I think it might be a game of the year edition game. Like wait until oh. that DLC's out. Get some sweet goatee. Yep. Yeah. Because mm. I actually I did play the demo of it on PS4, mm. and that was a mistake. Oh. Uh, shooter. Like like I like my Destiny shooter. Wasn't a big fa like a big fan of of Dying Light on it. Didn't like the shooting. But you're not supposed to shoot in it very but much. Still, I su see, I suck and Is I get spotted. Scary? I didn't really get. I'm not really scared. Okay. The name sounds like a scary game, so I never no, really it. No, it was alright. Okay. Mr. Producer said to take the got ye. The got ye. Got ye. I got ye. Doesn't even answer. You cannot got ye. Got ye. Got ye. It was good. I like it. Okay. Uh, next up, things. Payday Two, which is already a slightly controversial game in my book because of the way that it requires you to grind for seven billion hours. And let's not fun. forget the police murder. Oh yeah, the police murder problem. <laughs> they have made their game significantly better by adding pay-to-win microtransactions. Everyone loves that. Yeah. Pay today. 
that's, that was my favorite joke. So they got today. Pay today is yeah. a good one. So basically, they got crates that can only be unlocked with purchasable keys. They're already crates. This new update means that your free crates you can open, the rate has dropped. Uh -oh. so, you can, so your actual effective rate of getting things in game is now less unless you want to pay. So this is the TF2 slash Dota 2, you get the crate and then you buy the key to unlock? Yes. Yep. Except the difference being TF2 and Dota 2 are both free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. And don't and didn't publicly state that they would never do never do yeah. Yeah, many okay. times over yes. the last few years. Uh, one of the few times where the diehard fan base, which normally will accept any of their grindy stuff, mm. has very much the Reddit threads were very funny. Yeah, I enjoyed my that time. That game is so successful, though. I don't understand why it's successful. Uh, I think it's so flawed. Yeah, I think it's almost a great game. Have, have you, you played it? I haven't. I've heard things. Good what things, things or bad things? That's good, but then like they're like, yeah, it's good. And then a week later, they're like, oh yeah, that game. Yeah, fuck that game. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. I liked it up until I had to murder all the police. I just wish yeah. I could get all the things without playing yeah. for seven million hours, as yeah. I said. Well, now you have to not only have to play for seven million hours, you also have to pay money. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. But are people still playing it? Apparently. Yeah. It's, it's actually got, it's actually very successful. It's got some really? crazy hours on yeah. Steam. Mm. Yeah. But they want more money. Yeah, but more money. Yeah. More money. Because mm. the base game's not that expensive, I don't think. I don't think so. No. So. It but was like free on PlayStation Plus, wasn't it? No. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's quite cheap, I guess. You're, you're, you know, you're looking at five bucks at the moment, if you get it on sale. Yeah, at the moment. Uh, the Game of the Year editions, $12.50. I think if you were like, uh, uh, if you bought everything and you were a day one purchaser, they, it was probably like, spend a they were saying it was like 180 bucks. Okay, so, moving on to the most accurate news of the week. <laughs> yes. We know all about the Nintendo Yeah, we got, we got the um, this exclusive scoop. So, in, in the leaks that have been coming out, apparently we are starting to see dev kit ship. Probably accurate. Yes. That's probably true. Uh, in this, the reports are that it is a hybrid system in that it's a mixture of a handheld and a console. That's what I want. Yep, yeah, it's sort of... That's kind of what I want with the Wii U. Sometimes I just want to take that tablet and walk away. Mm -hmm. And they're saying that, oh, it's got the most cutting edge chips because they're not making the same mistake again. <laughs> I can really see something that <laughs> runs off a console and then also has the same hardware or something similar in a handheld and has the highest end technology. <laughs> you, you know what I'm happy? I bet it's a $2,000 console. I, <laughs> I'm happy for this thing just to be a Wii U that's portable in a gamepad. I'm okay with that. I would find portable, like this. Portable, no, no, portable around the house. Okay. Or maybe on half hour on the train. Doesn't have to be an all okay. day thing. Or on a camping trip, so that I don't have to look at them lizards. <laughs> My cat murders so lizards. many lizards. I hate your cat. What? She is completely ambivalent towards you. Oh. But that's all right. She's a <laughs> fucking lizard murderer, right? and lizards are hey, the best. I try to save the lizards. But she's got this little patch of They're grass. They're probably endangered. They're skinks. We've got a oh. lot of them. Skinks are beautiful. But being a, skinks eat all the insects? Being a jerk. They, ha is. they have sex on your windows? Yeah, who wouldn't want that? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> they, being a jerk cat, though, she never actually kills them. She just, oh, she just tortures she them. She just tortures just them Just, like, for a while. wakes you up in the morning, like, present. Yeah, this twitching <laughs> lizard. Like, thanks. Thanks, Ripley. Gross. I appreciate it. So, yeah, there's a bunch of rumors out now. The accuracy is most likely completely off base. Mm. Uh, but I do think it probably will be a hybrid console and yeah. it will. Surely there'll be leaked yeah. photos. Yeah, you don't really get it out of the. Because yeah. the early dev kits are so like, it's gone out to 100 people and if it leaks, we know, we know. all of you and where yeah, you live true. and we will cut you. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And... Nintendo style. <laughs> God, imagine <laughs> being on Nintendo's bad side. Oh, they, have... oh, they got powerful friends. Japanese style. We're off for adventure! <laughs> toad will We're come and get you. We're off for Yeah, 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 yeah. They find you dead with just a toad amiibo jammed in your <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Toad. <laughs> okay, uh, let's talk about something real. Hey, it could be real. It's it's real, the things aren't. Do you ever play that Sticks Master of Shadows game? Uh, I have it on PlayStation Plus. Does that yeah. count? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's pretty That's good. It yeah, It's I, cool. Yeah. It's just a lot of interesting things. It's stealth games, kind of like the old Thief, except you're in the world of, of orcs and men. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. that was an interesting, interesting original premise. And it's a very vertical game, so it's all these castles and turrets, and you're climbing around and all this sort of stuff. Just doing a sequel. Yeah. Kind of just 
I, I really like that company. Did you play much? No, no, I played a little you bit. Play it in I've never been a big I thief fan to begin with. Hmm. I'm not big on stealth games. It kind of lost me there. Yeah. yeah. But it looked it looks solid. Yeah, a solid thing. It looks, it looks pretty. I on like the, the website, it's got like cool dude in the background. I like the. It's uh, a cool dude, hey. I like cool yeah. dude. <laughs> I like cool I'm guy. I'm a big fan of cool dude myself, so <laughs> that's okay. Um, I prefer yeah. hipster dude. I just think because that was the is it is it cyanide or something like that they're called. Oh, uh, spider. Spider. That sounds more I like think, it. Yeah. Yeah. We um. They're like the the game studio that could. Uh, no, Cyanide Studios. Okay, Cyanide, is it? I was right. Yeah. Take that. Who knows they're fucking gaming people? Me. <laughs> Me and Cliffy hey. B, like that, yeah. brothers. Yeah. Yeah. What's, I was there when they announced the, the first... What's the B stand for? Blizinski. Blizinski? No, I said his name correctly. Oh, okay. <laughs> like you. Uh, please pronounce M. Night Shalaman to me. M. Night Shalaman. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> There's not that many syllables. <laughs> it's not that hard. What's wrong with you? Um, yeah, anyway. like, they're a company that, you know, they've, they've had products with middling reviews, but they keep they're, improving. Yeah, like, they're like this really high-end B-grade. Yeah, yeah. And they're, they're, like, just, they're just waiting they're to like, get that one big hit. It's going to be B. great. Triple B. B. Yeah, Triple B Studios. B, 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 B. Yeah. B, 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 King. Okay. Good stuff. Anything crazy happening on the chat? I saw a lot of yelling before. I think there were trolls. I think we're getting trolled. I think they're gone. I love, I love getting any kind of attention. <laughs> like, yeah. it's like yeah, we, we elicited the response yes, from please someone. Please abuse us. It's a I think this is like this is actually the thing I've had. Like when I got. Oh, you guys are into being abused too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> that Maybe takes that me back. Our, <laughs> that could be our niche. Like Please I actually, I actually really like it when, uh, like, you get negative game reviews. Like when in Tales Drift, when we were getting like yeah, the yeah, free to play yeah. thing, and like people were getting really angry at us. Like, oh, you care? You know, it's much worse getting no reviews. Mm -hmm. like, mm. I prefer some response mm. than none. I, I, I worked on a, a terrible film. Oh great! No, should I not, should I have said that? <laughs> oh, no. or, or the name uh, of the film? Uh oh. Um, anyway, it got it got pirated heavily because it had the same name as a very popular television show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You can um, figure out what it is. Yeah, it was something about a structure built out of some sort of not hard, not not big on stability. <laughs> um, but uh, man, the reviews of Pirate Bay were fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they hated it so much. <laughs> what the is this? <laughs> oh, I loved Those every pirates. time. Anyway, uh, okay, uh, finishing up news. Uh, Alison Road being kickstarted. That uh, inspired by PT a horror game. Uh, they cancelled the Kickstarter. Not for particularly bad reasons, because they've been picked up by Team Seventeen, who's going to publish it and help fund the game. It's actually in, Team Seventeen's really becoming They're more like, interested in publishing like now. Indie publishers now. I suppose you can only release Worms so many times. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. No, there are no limits to the no. number of times. Well, remember that they released Worms Four on mobile and it was terrible yes. for more fans but they're doing worms uh weapons of mass destruction is that something is that like worms 3.5 but no no but that's that's like new worms armageddon on pc okay so that looks like what should have probably have been worms 4 have they figured if they fixed the net code yet i don't know we, did you, did we got you an invite any? to talk to them at pax we should go did you play any See worms yeah. 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 yeah it was it was you really... never play with your worms like i have <laughs> so it's like, yeah Right. It's no death tank. Death tank. There's a game. Okay. And finally, a really interesting sort of what the fuck the story this week. Uh, Zoik, who is an indie dev who made Stick It to the Man and Zombie Vikings, uh, released the alpha for their unreleased, unannounced project. Uh, and they put it in Zombie Vikings, which was released a few weeks ago. So basically you just have to do a few things and suddenly it leaves Zombie Vikings, opens up, opens up a whole new game called FE. And... Yeah, that's it. Uh, we've got some footage of it up on there. Um, it's a totally different art style. So this is Zombie Vikings, and they're going to go into it in a second. So, you know, they, they do this, like, paper cutout thing. Stick It to the Man was very similar. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. And then it opens up to... It reminds me of, like, a dark grow home. Mm. Like, this polygonal. It's a bit stealthy. You're climbing a lot of stuff. It's like... This is marketing genius. It is! This is, this yeah, is so clever. Really cool. Yeah, it's like, oh yeah, it's... Oh, and it's so pretty. Yeah, it's a pretty little thing. You're a little, I'm going to call him a raccoon style thing. That's nice. Let's call him the, fl the flying squirrel of love. Yeah, I, this is this is so clever. Yeah. Uh, putting this in. Uh, I mean, they're and also they're, under, they're also under no like uh, need to like have it be polished or finished. No, in anyway. it's like a little, <laughs> little Easter egg. It's like, oh yeah, it doesn't matter. It's whatever yeah. we've got put it in there. And Do you now, reckon, how would someone discover this? Do you reckon someone did it or they're like, uh, I don't think it was that crazy to get into it. I think you just had to like get 
a, a certain challenge done mm. well. I, 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 there are instructions. I admittedly didn't check them, but it didn't seem like there was anything. Like there was no massive journey to unlock the thing. Okay. It was like, hey, do this mission. Because it'd be awkward this. if you made it like this super secretive thing and, and no like, one ever found, found it. it. <laughs> well, you get that sometimes. Just some devs are like, yeah, we've still got a secret of this game. Came out twelve years ago now. <laughs> Keep looking. <laughs> Whenever they say that, like, you're trolling. Like, I, well, well, Dark Souls, they, you did that a lot. Well, you, I, cause have, have you played Dark Souls? Like 10 minutes. Okay, so one of, the, one of the, at the beginning of Dark Souls, it's an RPG character creation system. Mm -hmm. And one of the items is, um, what is it, the Witch's Ring or something? Uh, it's like some stone or... I'm pretty sure it was a ring. No, yeah, it's, 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 like, yeah, it's, like, it's like, oh, you should probably have this if, if some, you want. If someone in chat, they'll be able to tell us. Yeah, it heavily implies that if you have this item... It'll like it's how you get like the true story or something. It does nothing. It's like yeah, you can only choose one item, so you get a useless and nothing item really? that will never pay off. No. But maybe it does. We just haven't found it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it does. Or a massive troll. Maybe. Yeah, it's a troll. Mm. They all have it's time. a troll. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's move on. Let's look at uh Oh, let's talk about Downwell. 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 Okay, uh, Downwell was a game we all played this week, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, you played it too. Yeah, know. we all played Downwell. Yeah. Um, so, I'm just going to preface this with, Downwell costs $3, and if you have $3, pretty good way to spend $3! <laughs> okay, I'll let you guys have impressions now. All right, and I... How'd you, what did you feel um, like? I was hesitant because this is not the type of game I'm into. What format did you play it on? Because apparently it's mobile. Yeah. I okay, was. yeah. I, I played it on PC. Okay, yeah. I don't really like pixel art games. Mm. I need water in my mouth again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, man. Careful of the tap. <laughs> I was going to spit all the way out. I was like, oh, no, but I'll ruin all, 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 all of this. There's laptops, there's a mixing desk, there's a oh, camera. It's on my yeah. monitor. You deserved it. I can because appreciate... Because she doesn't like pixel art. I can appreciate pixel art, but I'm like, it's not my preferred choice of game. And this is, like, very minimal. The, like, two colors are, like, white and red. So I was like, eh. Oh, you can unlock more. Yes, I haven't worked out how to do that yet. <laughs> um, and it's, like, is it roguelike? Is it's that a, the right term? It's a rogue like uh, light light. Yeah, rogue light light. I also don't rogue -like know that particular lights. genre either. But I enjoyed it. Mm. It's like but a platformer, but down. Rogue like yeah. has become synonymous with random shit. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I don't even know what defines rogue like, so I just throw uh, it in there. Um, what about you, James? Okay, so I I played both the mobile and the PC Whoa, version. Whoa, that's like ten bucks. No, well I got given a key. So full disclosure, oh, okay. I actually got a key for the PC version. I, I paid for half of it. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really like it. I'm actually a big sucker for this art style. I think it looks looks really nice. It, it very um, much harkens back to uh, our youth, you know, yeah, in the dinosaur age. Not the animation is great. Yeah. Uh, having played all... You just grew up with Cars 2, did right? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen Cars 2. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, <laughs> so having... Like, I've played... PC and and cons and uh, sorry, PC and uh, mobile, and I found controller was what felt worked best to me. Like actually having the kind of analog control of it. Uh, once I kind of got my, I prefer digital control. Yeah. P different people preferring different things. What Imagine is this? That. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway, continue. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I really enjoyed how uh, different like each playthrough ended up being for me because mm. because the weapons that they do get they do are very different. Uh, and there is because rogue like you do have certain situations where what you get is kind of OP and let you get. A lot oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But being OP is regardless because the game is still hard as shit. So I still die after like I think I got to World Two once. Like I got through the first few levels. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 I thought you meant like a second. No, so no, I'm like I'm what? Not, what's wrong with bad. you? Um, but like I, I quickly found there was. Look some, at me! I've got a drone. Uh, yeah, the drone's pretty cute. Like there was some, there were some things which just seemed to be better. Yeah. Uh, like actually the the power up which made bullets fire up. Mm -hmm. I thought that was that was pretty powerful. So that will kind of clear the screen above you. Uh, so it, uh, I'll quickly go through what the actual mechanics are because it's yeah. very, very simple, but in it lies a lot of complexity. Oh, there's a shop? You, yeah. you move down, uh, you have left and right and jump. Now, we were saying you can shoot. You shoot by when you're in the air. You hold jump and you shoot. You run out of bullets and your bullets don't come back until you hit the ground again. So you've got a limited amount of bullets in space. You can jump on things that are white, but don't jump on things that are red. You can shoot them, though. 
Yeah, you can. Uh, shoot them. You collect gems, and then you get these sort of side passages that either have gems or a shop in it. But what I love is the little touches of this game. So the animation is super smooth. It's super sharp. Yes. It's like really direct action, but it feels like he's smooth the way he moves and everything. But like when you go into those side passages, did you notice that when you go into like a little the bubble there, it freezes the game? I did eventually. I noticed that. This this game makes you think that it's really fast. Yeah. But you don't have to. You can actually you, be really slow. If you want to go yeah. down slowly, you can. And in fact, the being the methodical way down can net you a lot more yeah. rewards. Because there's no time limit whatsoever. No. You can just stop there. And yeah, like, like I, when I first started playing it, I thought, oh, they're meant to do this really, really quickly. But no. Nah. You just take your time. Yeah, I mean, the first, like, you literally, these are my first and now second run in here. Like, this is literally the first time I played the game. And the first time I just kind of fell down the entire first cavern without doing anything. It's so, like, just trying to work out mm. how everything works. And um, it's just, because it has the roguelike thing of just giving you different builds and the game can be over quite quickly or as long as you want, really, if you're going to be careful. Um, I mean, it'll still be hard, so you're probably not going to be too long in a playthrough. But there's just all these things that can interact and discover. And I had no expectation of this game other than it looking like, oh man, they went for a really yeah, retro really aesthetic. Retro. Like they didn't just they didn't go SNES, which most people go to. They went, no, nah, NES, NES is too early for us. <laughs> we need to go yeah, Sinclair. We'll go... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was blown away by this game. Yeah, I... I... I had such a fun time with it. Yeah. I mean, the, the main complaints I'd have with it are just more my gripes when it comes to roguelikes, um, where like, I have to play through that first area again. I wouldn't be surprised if it did a roguelike. Maybe it's, it's, it's so normal in roguelikes to yeah. eventually you'd be able to unlock a skip thing anyway. I didn't get... Actually, a, a criticism I have is I felt the unlocks were a bit slow. Because... Like, I unlocked a few different colours. Yeah. But there's, there's another... For instance, this one, if you're watching... Is green. Yeah, you may notice yeah. the color is different. I do realize Unless that you're now. you're red, green, colorblind, then it just kind of looks the same. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if that's a thing. Like what? what <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like a real fuck you to red green. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the first one you unlock. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to find the because like the ten percent of the male population that's colorblind somewhere around there. Yeah. It's quite high. It's like what's with that? The second unlock. It's exactly yeah, the same. Yeah. It's like I got cheated. <laughs> I didn't unlock anything. <laughs> <laughs> that's a uh, perfect mm. troll. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, mm. But yeah, there's other game, other modes, or other styles. That yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not you, sure you, what uh, they are. I admittedly haven't unlocked any yeah. other characters and, and that's yet. And that's where I think it's a bit, it feels yeah. a bit grindy. Cause oh, I, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah check out this laser, like how much that just changes oh, the feel of the OP. movement. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Shotgun's awesome too. Yeah, but, but being OP is alright, because you still will get hit by stuff. Yeah, exactly. I also, I'm not sure what Gem High does. Uh, I thought Gem High meant that the, the gems were, basically you got more of them. Oh, okay, so it's like a multiple. Or is that, the, is that the, like, the slowdown you get after you get hit? I'm not sure. Yeah, no. See, there, there are some things... You can extend... We haven't learnt We haven't learned yet. But the thing is, roguelikes aren't supposed to. If a roguelike... Like, that's... Some people hate Barney Isaac because, like, I picked up this thing and I didn't know what it did. And then it's like, yeah, if you picked up things and they had an actual accurate description of what it would do, yeah. you're really not playing well, Barney Isaac guess, the way it's supposed I to be. No, you, you might hate that, yeah. but that's what the point is. Like, the point is to get things, and it might not work for you at all, but you learn mm. by doing. And this game is just full of that. Yeah, well, I guess there's, there's not a lot going on with the mechanics. Like, it's quite simple. It's three buttons. So yeah. having those little things to discover does make it, you know, Gives you more replay ability because you can go and discover more stuff. Have we sold you more on it, Anae? I like, I like it. But we made you like it more. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, I didn't actually know there were like side areas. I thought like, uh, there was like bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, because there's a little bit of red on it, so you're not yeah. sure if you can yeah. touch it or not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I like that there's no like tutorial and like you can still work out what's happening. Like there's it, self discovery. It's actually a beautiful cool. start. Just we sort of there. It's just like you're on a bench. You wake up. You run to the right. And then there's a well, and as you get to the edge of it, the title fades in. That's yeah, all there is. It's, it's really, really, really simple. nice intro. Yeah. And it starts yeah. with you just like sitting on the bench, just just enjoying yourself. Just chilling. Like you could just stay there mm -hmm. on the bench. Chilling on the bench, having yeah. a good time. But I was all ready to like hate this game. <laughs> you were like, damn it. This damn hipster I, game. I yeah. played it because I, I had a key for it, and yeah. I knew it was on James's list. It's like, it's better when we have played yeah, a game with more than one person we can it. talk about. It. Like, sure, it's nothing for me. Mm. Like, yeah, I really like it a lot. Um, okay, uh, we saw a couple of new games this week. Mm -hmm. One which has been getting a bit of press is called Pray for the Gods. Uh, this is a three-person team, which makes it really impressive. This is basically the first in... Well, Shadow of the Colossus was really popular. Um, please list me all the clones that have come since. 
Game Virgin of the Year Fashion. edition. No. <laughs> How many games have taken Shadow of the Colossus? Like Last the climb. <laughs> the climbing kind of in Dragon's Dogma, but the game was nothing like Shadow of the Colossus. So this is basically going for a Shadow of the Colossus feel. Uh, but I'd also like to point out how much I've improved this trailer. Well, what did you do to this trailer? Well, after every single shot, they put a couple of seconds of black. Oh, they did that. They did those things. They don't edit in black. I cut no, every no, fucking thanks, frame of thanks, black. Paul. I really appreciate that. You can actually kind of get a feel for it now. The trailer was like three times as long as this. <laughs> it was like mostly black. So uh, that's my version of oh, Pray the for the God. Oh, the Prey! the E. Oh, see, so you get it both ways. Uh, see, so you're praying and you're the prey. That's what the, that's what the pun is, James. I get it. I get yeah, it. Um, not a whole lot of detail now, other than the fact that they're going for that. And I would say, obviously, that's the only area they've even been able to put resources towards mm. yet. Because they are a three-person team. And the that pop is a monster effort. You look at it. You look at it closely and there's things like she reaches up for ledges and like her hands a foot above it when she pulls mm. herself up. I'm like, ah, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to be a dick and say it's yeah. bad. It's just like, ah, look, they're actually doing it. It's a little rough around the edges, which, well, it would be. They're just showing it for the first time and it looks pretty cool. Would you play an episodic Shadow of the Colossus? I like episodic things, like games, but I haven't played Shadow mm. of the That's Colossus. That's just a... Yes... Yeah, maybe have a challenge. Uh, give me a challenge a week. Maybe a monster a week or a colossus a week. Colossi. Colossi. No, us <laughs> singular. Colossus a week. Coloss us. Sounds like a we are the colossus. <laughs> a colostomus. <laughs> um, uh, maybe it would depend. Yeah. It's a really broad question. Yeah, it's like, no, I just I just thought it like you potentially would fit episodic quite well. Maybe, maybe. Okay, next up, a little game called Fury. They probably, want it to be fur they probably want it to be furry, furry or fury. Yes. But I am going to pronounce it however I want. It's our show. This game really reminds me... What game do you think it reminds me of, James? Ah, oh, that Christian one. Exactly! Yeah. El Shaddai Ascension yeah. of the Metatron. It's the game that only Paul knows best about. Best game. Actually, it's not the best game, but it's cool. Uh, it, this is uh, by the... T well, it's by the artist that did Afro Samurai, Samurai 2. Yeah. But the team... Did that weird like squid game that was like on like the Wii U and a bunch of other things? Am I the only person that knows that goddamn squid game? I think so. I don't it's a weird like weird squiddy thing. RPG thing. Squid. It's weird. So they said, "Fuck this squiddy RPG kids game." Oh, is this the one that's on mobile first, where you need to pull and release to move around? Like, I don't set know. in the west. I don't know. Yeah, something. Yeah, I think I'm the one you're talking about. about. Um, but anyway, they've gone all out with this. And I think it's interesting when you're watching this trailer that this is like third-person arena fighting, like it seems to go from fight to fight, and that's an all-right thing, thing for me. But it also has elements of twin-stick shooters in it. Like, there's like bullet hell sections where you're firing everything back, so a mixed... Like, imagine Devil May Cry with some bullet hell elements. That's... That's, that's a good sell. It's interesting, yeah. I mean, I don't know. If it, it totally is going to depend on the fighting. That mechanics. title is terrible. Yeah. No, I can't even read that title. What does it say? I can barely pronounce I it. I think it says read it. They never. One star. Bad font. Bad <laughs> font. Bad font. Anyway. No, uh, Ben, not Splatoon. Now, not Splatoon. <laughs> that was Nintendo. <laughs> And they took us on an adventure! Uh, also, Ben pointed out that it was a pendant from Dark Souls. He was very angry about oh. it. Oh. oh. Sorry, yeah, Ben. It's a pendant, a pendant. Goddamn Paul, it's a pendant. I'm ben pretty sure it's said, a ring, though. Even I know the pendant. I'm pretty sure it's a ring. Yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah ring or maybe some kind of anklet. An anklet? Yeah, it was an How anklet. about a toe ring? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever <laughs> worn a toe ring in a... Maybe in the 90s. Oh. Oh, that's right. You were still alive in the 90s. Yeah. Yes, sometimes, I, sometimes I think you're 12. <laughs> because right. I am 100. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, next, a game that is not new, yeah. but it's new for the West. It's officially coming to the West now. This is Black Desert Online. This is the game which has the world's greatest character creator. Do you really? oh, oh, my God. If you haven't seen it's a pity they don't hi highlight it in this. It is so incredibly detailed... Instead of like picking your hairstyle, you can make your hairstyle. Really? Uh, mm. Like, right, it, it is more detailed than anything I've ever seen in a character mm. creator. This really looks like it's a cool. James game, too. Plus, it's, it's a pretty crazy. The difference in the West, though, it's not going to be free to play. It's uh, not free to play. It's not free to play in the West. It's not free to play MMO. In China, it's free. In the West, they're going to have some sort of fee. They haven't said what it's going to be yet. 
But um, kind of interesting that they've taken a free-to-play MMO, which is very successful. Yeah, and made it... And re- I, I, yeah. I, okay. I thought it would have been I, the other way around. Yeah. Paid. I, I'll, I'll tell you what they're probably doing. They're probably going, look, we'll try paid, and if that doesn't work, we'll go free. Mm. Like, give it a go. Uh, give it a bell. Yeah. I, I mean, it looks pretty It looks hell. pretty. Like, I really love that art style. I think it looks gorgeous. I like the action combat. I like character creators. Yeah, exactly. I feel like wonderful. Like a good hour. If, if, if they let the, if they leave the character creator as a free bit, yeah. I'll just play that forever. <laughs> yeah. It'll be so good. Okay. Look, if if uh, if we can get away with Happy Home Designer for uh, for Animal Crossing, oh, no, they did, they did not get away with it. They didn't get away with it. No, I don't oh, know, man. Game. I reckon they did. That game, that game is <laughs> oh, oh, the rage. Nintendo just really half ass a lot of things. Look, I love them. <laughs> I love them, but I hate them. I hate them too. <laughs> okay, uh, finally in games to, re- to reveal, James, you complained about a game we showed last week, yes. I think it was, because you weren't a big fan of the source material. So this week, they've given you exactly what you wanted. All right. So can we just bring that up, Lance? I mean, Mr. Producer, fuck, I do it again! Oh! oh! I mean, his name's Henry. <laughs> So it's fun. Archer Pinball. Yeah. So you didn't like Bob's Burgers. You were like, Bob's Burgers isn't my... Why can't they give me Archer Pinball? And, and they... Are this punching? Okay, look, if we get rid of the pinball and just have Archer punching things... Did you know that this actually didn't exist a week ago? They just heard the podcast and said... Oh, and they're like, well, James, look. Yeah. Seems we're going to get this for you. James is being really whiny. <laughs> Let's just shut him up Archie and give him Archer Pinball. pinball. Okay. <laughs> it's still... I'm still not sold, sorry. What? Archer, like, Pinball, I, uh, they're amazing. Both things. Right. There's I a little bit too yeah, much in there. Actually, I know. When we, we did play Zen Pinball for our free game a while ago, and it was surprising. Okay, fun. there's enough there now. Yes! <laughs> 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 what? Uh, you were getting things wet tonight. <laughs> I'm showing my disgust in a physical way. <laughs> Thanks. It was only a little bit thanks, less. Thanks, buddy. There was too much water to begin with, and <laughs> well, I didn't want to ruin things. I appreciate things. that you drug oh, most of it. He's trying to cool you down. But it's Hot actually, yeah, thank you. Yeah, it is quite warm in here. Okay, let's move on before things go up. I played another game this week. What did you play, Paul? By one of my favorite developers. 2D Boy. 2D yeah. Boy, which last week we spoke about because I bought like 40 copies of World of Goo because World of Goo is one of the best games in the modern Do you want age. a copy of World of Goo? I've actually got rid of uh, all of them, I think. Really? None Maybe left. one or two left. Um, so anyway, Human Resources Machine is basically their take on a programming game Whoa. like Infinifactory and... God, man, I wish it wasn't a programmer. Yeah, see, this is the thing. I th- So 2D Boy did World of Goo, which yep. was this amazing physics-based, but also somehow a really story-driven emotional game. Uh, it's, a, it's quite an anomaly how well it did that. Then the next game they made was uh, Little Inferno, which is a non-game. It's, it's a toy. It, it's Doodle God. But it's very, very focused on story and emotion. Like, it's trying to sell this really... Um, so it did, like, half of what World of Goo did really well. And now this game is like, you know what? Let's just focus on pure gameplay. Let's just get numbers in, writing some code with sticky notes, and then putting some numbers out. And, like, let's screw anything that's actually... Me- like, there's still the story wrapper around it, but the gameplay itself doesn't seem to yeah. have much meaning. Um, and so I've played slightly over half the game now. Yep. That first half is so straightforward and easy. They do the thing like Infinite Factory and everything where it measures you on the number of cycles required to solve a puzzle and the amount of instructions needed oh, to solve a puzzle. Sorry, sorry, I was reading the chat. There's a Fibonacci sequence puzzle. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, maybe, maybe I'd have... Well, I haven't got to that one at least, but halfway... The first half of the game, like I started around here now, but... Everyone was just beat first try, yeah, maximum yeah. everything. I'm like, well, I could forgive like the first maybe ten levels, but I think it's the game itself only has like thirty eight levels all up. Mm. It's like, oh, for programming puzzles, it's running kind of short because they're not. I mean, there's lots of algorithms you can just say do this algorithm, but I also don't really like see how they've got the sticky notes put in the instructions there. Now, obviously, this is really easy puzzles. We're really at the beginning of the game here. Um, but once you start to get more complex and you might have like 20 instructions plus you even have to scroll down that list and they have to give you another sticky note which is for making fucking comments 
There's a common sticky note you've got to put Good, in. Good, there should be. But there should be. But the thing is, you look at things like like what we're comparing to Infinite Factory and what was I uh, and um, uh, Space Cam and what was the other one by the team that we were doing this uh, year? It's Ti something or other. Yeah, yeah, the the yeah. the cool sort of in computer based which was, one, which was like the one he made for programmers. Yeah, yeah. They don't they don't need that because they're designed in a way that you can look at the structure and see what's going on. With this, it's literally just a list of commands. It's like they need to. It doesn't. I, I was expecting. Like most of be, the screen real estate is doing nothing. I'd expect you need to be really all over this. Look, it's fun. I enjoyed it, and I'll probably keep playing it. But it's one of those things where I'm like, 2D Boy just seems to like they've forgotten to do both the things they're great at in mm. any of the projects now. They can either do gameplay or they can do like emotional storytelling. They just can't do both of them anymore. <laughs> just, just pick one. <laughs> just one. one. Just one. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I mean, this is, this is one of the ones, I said it a few times, but those programmer games, because I'm a programmer. Oh, see, see, Ben wants me to point out that yeah. later on you get, you, get, uh, you get your jumps and your compare. So he's like, you don't just have jump, you have like jump if zero. Uh, yeah, or yeah, compare yeah. if negative, and, uh, if yeah. negative, do that sort of thing. So you've got a bunch, that didn't have all the instructions up then, but it's not far off getting all the rest of them. At least from what I've seen, only halfway through the game. Um, but yeah, it was kind of just... Like, this is a totally competent game, which I probably won't play after this month. I've got other games that do the same thing. Yeah. Like, you've got... And it's Space Cam. And I'll play it forever <laughs> until I die. Well, or until I beat it, which I never will because <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> but then the first half levels of that game, yeah. I can do those. <laughs> Maybe it's the same thing here. Anyway. Um, yeah, that's all I've really got to say. I think I think I made Ben in the comments real angry. It's good. Wait, we're like this is like a bench yeah. call episode. He's like, it's like, man, I gotta, I get, I get everything wrong about that ankle, that that anklet that you yeah. get. <laughs> I think it's, a, I think it's a locket with yeah. a SpongeBob in it. Yeah. And then I like tell him that that human resource, human resources corporation or whatever machine isn't the best game 2D boys ever made. I was just saying it's a good game. It's just. Not it's well to go. It's not well to go. You're not going to buy it forty times. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to. I'm not going to cry when you mulch up the pretty goo ball. <laughs> it was so <laughs> sad. It was so depressing. It's like, oh, she's so beautiful. We've made her. Now let's like, shove her in the fucking machine and kill her <laughs> and tear her to pieces and make her babies into cosmetics. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I do that in the real world too. <laughs> I just didn't know it. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway. What, what's next on my list? I can't read my list. Broforce! Hey, yeah, play some Broforce. Yeah. We all play Broforce? We... Ish. Ish. And well, I went to the menu screen. You went to the menu? That's some of Broforce. Yeah. So, we've spoken about Broforce on the show a few times. Uh, now that Broforce is officially out, uh, what's different? Not much. Okay! Yeah. Uh, I actually remember when we were talking about uh, Expender Bros. Yeah. And we were saying, man, they gave a lot of this game away in Expender Bros. I don't know how I'm going to go with the full game now. You still feel that way? I still feel that way. Like, it is a lot of fun. It, it looks great. Um, controls really well. I really like the uh, the life system. How, like, you get bros. And yeah, yeah. You, you die and then you come back as a different a bro, bro with different abilities. I yeah. really like the different bros. Because they all bro differently. And some of those bros, especially when you're playing full player, they do not play well with others. I like my guy bro or bro Giver. Bro Giver. Bro Giver. Yeah. I'm sure if you're making up words now. Or <laughs> <of the> game. <laughs> um, <laughs> Everything's got bro. It's, it's the, the, they've got like you know, uh, Brodida or is it pre Predator bro? Probably. Predator bro. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, it, it's lots you got of your ch your Chuck Norris's. <laughs> uh, that's just there. Um, but yeah, like when you get like the big um, uh, like grenade launching guys, they just tear the levels apart. What what do you actually have to do? You just gotta liberate levels. Go yeah. get get to a flag. But the entire oh, the, so much screen shake. So yeah, good. it's lots of screen shake. Um, but it becomes the whole entire world is is destructible. Oh, so, the Gibbs, the Gibbs are great. Oh yeah, yeah. So you make your way through, and you like in front. There's a minefield there. Now you could do like James and jump into the mines because he's real smart, or you could dig underneath them, or just jump past them, or do nah. all sorts of things. Yeah. Just, 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 just and then, jump then they got like lots of fun, like, um, well, yeah, touch is like, okay, there's dogs there. Now, if there's a, if you, <laughs> if you kill someone near a dog and leave them, the dog will eat the person and become a what? much bigger, more dangerous dog. And they've got that kind of just like these systems that interact through the whole thing and just make it 
it's it's an enjoyable time. Like it's there's nothing else really like it, and especially when you're four player, it's just getting everyone through the level is a serious challenge because it's the action that James is doing here plus three other yeah, people. Yeah, it's pretty chaotic. <laughs> Actually, idea I didn't realize that they kept respawning out of that door. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so eventually, oh, yeah, they got braid. braid. So they couldn't quite get bro into that. Yeah, but they, they cause, tried. Because Broad was too far away from it. <laughs> so, see, the do- actually, the dogs, I think, were eating a person there, but then James killed them Yeah, anyway. so I died, and I'm back to being Chuck Norris again. Yeah. Bro Norris, whatever his name was. Chuck Broas. Chuck Broas. Bro, bro, bro. I wasn't expecting the overworld. Yeah, that was a, that was a relatively new thing yeah. in the game. Yeah. So they, they have the overworld, and you go and you make to liberate the area, and they talk about the difficulty before you go in. Um, I would have liked like the individual levels to feel a bit more coherent. Like it, it felt like a series of levels rather than a zone when I went into it. Um, they're still they've got they're not totally randomized, but they're randomized elements of them, aren't they? I don't think there are. I think they actually are the same. I don't know. Actually, it's, it's one of the problems I had with the levels in this is like I didn't feel like they were that different. Like the levels kind of felt a bit samey to me. I didn't see any because there's a level builder in this, and the level builder looks really powerful and, and kind of cool. But like when I haven't played a bunch of uh, Mario Maker, like I wouldn't say it's in any, has anywhere near the flexibility that you say get out of Mario Maker. Like, see, I would like someone to take this game. Yeah. Uh, and go like Mario Maker and make... Because I believe you can play specific bros. Yeah. So much like in Mario Maker, we can f- f- like make them, make them like Wii Fit Trainer or whatever. Um, you can, but that doesn't change how it plays, particularly just changing what they look like. But in this, it can change how it plays. And then yeah. people make very specific puzzle-based levels. Yeah. I, I think I, the game would be really interesting if they did that. What I want to see is more examples of how these levels are different. Because like that criticism of... like. Expender Bros kind of is the experience, at least from what I've played so far, kind of holds. So Expender Bros, if you didn't know, is, oh, sorry. <laughs> it, it's, it's just a demo of, but it was um, basically the producers of Expendables actually approached Broforce and said, you want to do like a game about us? And said, okay, well, they just made this little spin off. It probably takes an hour or so to play through. Uh, and all the characters are characters from the Expendables. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and it's, it's a, a lot, lot of fun. It's really good. Yeah, and the, the branding of it is just the fact that it's all the characters from the movie. It's like, mm. as much it's as really really good tie-in game, one of the best around actually. And I'd do it. So you played another game. Tell us about this one quickly. Uh, well, Unless you want to talk about it a lot. Sorry, which is this? This is uh, Voxel Blast. Voxel Blast. All right. So I got given a key to this one. Just kind of disclose that. Uh, so Voxel Blast is a game from a... Hey, uh, if James is going to start saying that, 90% of what I've played yeah. I'm case for. Uh, it's from a Costa Rican company. Uh, this is, I think this is their first now, title. where are the voxels? There are no voxels. This is one of the... Okay, one of the problems... What? One, no, we're out of water! <laughs> we're out of water! One, okay. Someone pour some water in my glass uh, now. So, yeah, first off, it's like, hey, there's actually not too many... <laughs> no, Richard Juicer, no! No, Richard Juicer! <laughs> Making it rain! <laughs> the best part is there's no vision of us in the middle, <laughs> so who knows what's going on. Oh no, it's back! Uh, we should just okay. have oh, oh, the yeah, I'll have that. Uh, I will have the water. Mr. Producer, <sighs> why? Sweet, we sweet, have sweet electronics water. in here. We'll, we'll let you get um, a nice good sound of that. Uh, <laughs> oh, don't you feel like going to the bathroom right now? Mm, all that delicious relief. But that's quality television. <laughs> Pop up and <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Producer. Whose name is Mr. Producer. <laughs> okay, so this Vector Blast. No, Voxel Blast. Okay, no voxels. No voxels. Kind of a problem. Um, so I played this and I was like, alright, this is a decent early build. Like, you know, it's it's okay. And then I found out it's kind of coming out very soon. Uh, so what, what is it, just a dog fighting so game? It's, it's a dog fighting game, um, but unfortunately they haven't really nailed down their controls. Uh, so y- you know like when you're, when you're flying around a thing in some kind of 3D environment, you tend to want, you want your pitch, right? Yeah. You want your, uh, your banking, and you want your, like that? Nah. No, your. So you, it, like, so one of the modes is sort of going from waypoint to waypoint, and I've had it when I was trying to get through quite difficult where like to try and actually aim I can't basically rotate along the Y axis to kind of get to where I want to do it easily. So they had like the controls need some serious work. 
Um, there was the some. Name. The name doesn't make sense with what it is. Um, and better put some voxels in there. There's here. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, they're called, Volume ex- the, the volumetric core, pixels. That the core is. gameplay just isn't really that fun at the moment. You're um, really mean. So what I did notice in there, you were taking something and then you did like a quick dodge to the side. Did I? Yeah, like that. No, I think no, that, was, that was the collisions. Oh, that's the collision moved, detection being yeah, bad. Being moved out of the way. Oh, um, well, in that case, the one thing that impressed me was yeah. a problem. Um, I had a 360. The explosions are cool. Yeah, they're also Ish. really inefficient. I'm pretty sure they're just making a bunch of game objects to do it. Which don't like. I notice a frame rate drop down a lot mm-hmm. when, that, when that happened. Uh, look, this this team, they're getting close to getting this out. Um, I just, I think this concept has potential. I actually had it's similar to an idea I've had where I wanted to make like a vector based shooter, uh, make it look a little bit like um, kind of Battle Zone or something like that. And they've kind of got some of the way there with the aesthetic. It looks it looks all right, but the kind of unforgivable part of it is they haven't got the shooting good. Like that's what the game should be. It should be fun to shoot, and at the moment it's it's just kind of clunky and kind of awkward. Okay, so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw Mr. Producer a curveball here. Yes, um, because we're going into crowdfunding, and I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna jump to a game mm. which has a similar aesthetic to Voxel Blast. Yep. Uh, this game's called Void Destroyer 2. So let's see him work his magic. Go! He's going for it. He, ha- he has to code to get I to that video. timing, how long we got. Yeah. I-, I actually don't know what he's doing now. It's just a video for yeah. it. So just <laughs> um, <laughs> he's just doing something else. Anyway, uh, Void Destroyer 2 is the sequel to Void Destroyer, which was a... Uh, it's a, a flight sim dogfighting, but also strategic RPG... <laughs> based in space. Now, the first game was Kickstarter and actually has a really cool yeah. community. Now, one of the big changes in the sequel here is actually the art style. Now, I went back to the first game because I don't remember it. Actually, like the first art style mm. was really cool too. But this one's really, really cool. Um, can we can we get the footage up for that, Mr. Producer? No, no, no there, there should be footage of it. Uh, I played it. It's a playable demo. <laughs> we'll get there. It should we'll be, get there. Should be number 17 on the list. Here it comes. Here we go. <laughs> so Boy Destroyer 2. Okay. <laughs> we got this. Um, yeah. So the first one, actually, it, it's kind of similar here, where we've got super bright colors, big, thick black outlines, and it's... Very heavy graphic novel sort of look to it. The original one was actually the same sort of outlines and color, but with a lot more shading, um, and that made it a little bit more grounded. And mm. funnily enough, you read all the reviews of it, and people are like, "Oh, don't worry about the art style. This game is fucking amazing." So he's doubled down and taken it further away from what the hardcore <laughs> like, uh, which I have absolutely no problem with. Yeah. Now, as far as it actually plays, I skipped in this playthrough that was going here. At the very beginning, there's like a how to play. Yeah. And it's like a fucking book. Oh, no. <laughs> this game is actually a really serious game for people that are seriously into this uh, sort of thing. You see, to, to kind of briefly go back to, to Voxel Blast for a yeah, second, yeah. it also opened with a phenomenal amount of text. Yeah. yeah. Except it was all story. Mm. Uh, and I couldn't skip it. And I eventually alt tabbed out and let it play through. <laughs> and then it kind of got back eventually. Yeah, uh, so I actually don't have much to say on this because it is not for me, and I do not understand it. And it took me ages to work out. I had to use I had to use backspace to set my speed to seventy five percent, and then bring it back down with return. And I was I don't know what I was doing. I was like, I, I, look, I'm changing I, ooh, the cockpit. I, I like that shit. I I, yeah, I really cool. love the art style. That to looks it. really nice. I, it's kind of funny. I'd love an arcadey game with this art style. Yeah, like you want this, but you want yeah, like just some like you, like. You want the co- the ship combat, whereas you just point the camera where you want it to go, and it takes care of everything, placeholder. right? Placeholder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I also love that he doesn't want people thinking the arts file, so I'll just put the word placeholder. But it looks nice. Like as, as the lieutenant placeholder, <laughs> it's a great name. But, but it's also it's no, not, that part's final. Oh yeah, that's final. <laughs> the name is going to be lieutenant that. placeholder. <laughs> so um, that's just on Kickstarter. Uh, if you want to back the game for a copy of it, uh, oh excuse me, a little bit of. A little bit of explosion from my chest there. Uh, you'll be looking at uh, ten bucks US. Ten dollars. That sounds yeah. pretty good. And as I said, the first game it was kickstarted. It was successful. It has an active community. Uh, it's relatively well reviewed. We're talking about like I think seventy-eight percent on Metacritic. But then 
those sort of things, it's continued development yeah. and the actual people that like it seem to like it a lot. So uh, if you're into your serious sort of space sims and strategy, because that's the thing, like in there you're seeing me on the pilot side, but you can actually play from a strategic point of view as well. Basically some person said it's home, it's home world if you want to fly the ship too. That, yes. <laughs> that's like, yeah, that's, sure. That seems kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, all right. I'll, I'll, no, do, I'll, I'll do that sometimes. You said some words that I like. Okay, so now we'll go back to the actual order and stop being mean to Mr. Producer. <laughs> okay. I just thought, you know, we'll make, uh, keep it in sight. Gotta keep him on his toes. Yeah, that's right. So now we've got Hello Neighbor. Hello Neighbor reminds me a lot of the game Neighbors from Hell. Oh, that old classic. Yeah, that yeah. Joe Wood classic. I think it was <laughs> Joe Wood. Uh, except it's completely different. Uh, <laughs> it's a, this is a first-person game, which is a weird, surreal um, stealth trying to... I'm not sure what you're trying to do in your neighbor's house. I think you're just trying to mess you're with You're messing him. with your okay. neighbor. So I love the speed of the character in this. Oh, you... Like, you yeah, he's... yeah, like, I, what, like, the thing I like with this is I'm not sure who the jerk is. Yeah. Okay. Because the the character design on the neighbor looks like a nice guy, or it looks mm. like a regular guy, and the way that like this the speed and acceleration of that character is <laughs> is um like it makes me feel really creepy. Mm. Like it looks like you're like you're jittery and you look like a bit of a creep. Oh, but he's got some definite darkness about him. He does, mm. but then I think this the way this character moves. There's yeah. something kind of like a bit and the things like, he's doing not human is like, about you're it. messed up. It's like it's just like this the speed of it. it. It's funny to think that just the the acceleration and deceleration of that character gives me that feeling from watching this video. I've got a hammer. <laughs> I had a hammer. I think the premise is you have to try getting his base into his basement. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, what's get he got in his basement? Maybe it's like the uh, that Tom Hanks film, The Burbs. <laughs> there were skulls it in goes the boot. Really dark, and he's got like children down there <laughs> yeah yeah he's definitely i hope it's nothing i hope it's like i really want the, this person to be the jerk no no no, no. oh no you're being chased by the name of a run run you gotta slide the bolt oh, it's terrifying what if he gets oh. you but yeah like there yeah, he's yeah so a big he thing he smashes this, his own window so with a chair a big that's thing not of this right is meant the, the ai so it's they they put a lot of emphasis on it's a learning ai so it's, but look at this shit suddenly he's got all this shit yeah, stacked around so, this isn't normal this isn't right. He did that quickly. This, this neighbor is there some something going on, buddy. That's right. We're just going to give some spoilers about what it is. Oh, no. Um, Didn't find out. Oh, it looks really interesting. Yeah. Just have to back yeah. and yeah. see. It's a bit creepy. And now you're like in a choky, like from that movie. In Matilda. a choky? Matilda. Oh, I, re I remember Matilda, but I don't remember the word choky. I just call that a creep. Oh. I don't remember Matilda being but do, buried alive either. But do you remember the boo box? The Boo Box. The Boo Box. I don't know. Do you know it's from Hook, Steven Spielberg's oh, best yeah. film? Yeah. Who, who went in the Boo Box? Who was it? Dude. It was like some random dude, and there's no. your scorpions in there, mate. That random dude was Glenn Close wearing a beard. <laughs> Are you serious? I am serious. Deadly <laughs> serious. <laughs> Deadly oh, fucking I thought serious. That was so weird. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That makes so much sense. Oh my god. Yeah. I just like no, my No, don't put me in the boo box. <laughs> oh my god. And once you, once you, know, it's, it. once you know it's getting close, you, getting cl you, go, you go see it. Yeah. And like, you god. see it. It's, it's pretty good. He's just mind. wearing a wearing okay. beard. It's yeah. great. Uh, if I you want to that. back for a copy of Hello Neighbor, at the moment there's early birds at $15, uh, and then they go to $18 redos. Uh, and that extra $3, no. <laughs> I'm just being antagonistic. <laughs> okay, uh, next up, we've got Wanderer. Now, Wanderer is probably the one today that I've got the least foothold on. Uh, it's a really, really attractive pixel art look in the game. So we were talking about it before the show, sort of swords and sorcery. Uh, swords and sorcery. Swords and sorcery. Swords and sorcery. Swords and sorcery. <laughs> or our uh, gods will be watching. Uh, a little bit of like the like the um, rotoscoping of like another world or something. Uh, it is an episodic. RPG sci-fi adventure game. So basically, I don't think you can know if this game will be good or not until you can play this game. Because it's going to matter on the writing. Like, you can select a team of people and you go on an adventure and it's all dialogue based. And then there's like some combat which is a little bit like Deepest Dungeon. But all of it looks super sweet. Yeah. I just don't know if I know if that would be good or not. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> this is what we need. This is what we need. To... We'll get the we'll get we'll, the devs we'll... on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, I, cool. I I don't it's believe pretty. when I was looking at the team, 
I don't think they had... It wasn't like a team of like, oh, well, they're all the people from Gods will be watching or something like that. It was a, a relatively fresh team. The team... Chris... Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, they don't have any gr- big names to their title or anything. That's nothing wrong with that, but it just means... I don't know. I don't know. But it looks really cool. Like, I would... If I saw that on the internet, which I did, I'd talk about it on a yeah, show, give which the I have. Yeah. To have a chat with some people. Oh, I'd, I'd chat them all up. Chat them in the morning with a hammer? Ch- chat, them in, chat them in the yeah. evening. Chat them all over like this town. town. <laughs> That's... You know, I had, if I had a hammer? It's classic. No. It's a classic song. Okay. One so, day we'll get you to sing. Uh, if nope, you, one me, day you will sing. <laughs> it's you're in the spotlight now. <laughs> sing, sing. No. Um, it's 15 bucks US if you want to back for a copy of that game. And uh, sometimes you can just like... If you like something, give them a buck. Yeah, sometimes. You don't have to. You, you don't always have to pledge for the game. You can get that sweet wallpaper deal. Oh, God. Don't you want some of them sweet wallpapers? Why don't anyone give me some ringtones? Those would be useful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that broke you so much. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm just picturing a crazy frog style. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up. Uh, Friday the 13th, the game. 100% licensed. In fact, they were given the license by the... They are given it away. Yep, yeah, they were given the license by the license holder, who was the original creator of Friday the 13th. Uh, it has Tobe Hooper involved, for some reason. Uh, he's motion capturing, and apparently he's directing as well. <laughs> um, Tom Savani is that in. That water right there, I think, looks fantastic. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know why you want Tom Savani involved in a video game. He is a classic special effects makeup artist. Don't... Apparently, he's designing the kills. Okay, all right. So... I look at it, and Adam Sessler is involved. He's trying to pitch it to All everyone. Right. Remind me who Adam Sessler is. Uh, he used to be on G4 TV and a bunch. He, okay. He's been a huge like gaming personality in the previous years, and now he's sort of running a PR firm. He's got all these people involved. And I'm like, is this a good idea? Well, and then I kept paying attention to it. Yeah. So you got to the asymmetrical part. It's evolve. It's yeah. Evolve with, <laughs> yeah. It's evolve yeah. with Jason. Yeah. Oh. And I'm like, okay. That sounds a little bit more interesting. I'd and play th- that. Then they started talking about this, how survival horror comes into it. So it's Jason's hunting them down, you, and you're all playing camp counsellors. Uh, there's different camps. There's, camp- there's a premarital sex button. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't, don't hit that button. <laughs> but the, um, one thing I didn't like is they kept talking about, oh, we're going to have a hero girl. It's like, hero girl? It's called the final girl. <laughs> Read your fucking film theory. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hero girl. Anyway. Um, but they're talking about things like, okay, so you might need to get part of a boat to fix mm. it to escape. The boat only has two seats. <laughs> so everyone yes. has to work together to do it, but not yes. everyone can escape and not everyone will survive. I'm yeah. like, that's... So not only are you dealing with Jason, you're dealing with the fact you can't trust the other people. In exactly. Your yeah, that's cool. Yeah, and everyone has different that's skills cool. that can do their different little things in it. <laughs> um, so originally I was like eh, and then it just kept growing on me like this is actually a pretty good idea for a mm. multiplayer game because it originally wasn't Friday the 13th it was, was it? Uh, it was called Summer Camp they announced it about a year ago yeah. there wasn't very much to see on it so they were working on the game as an homage to Friday the 13th yeah. uh, in fact I think they were going to do a series of them and the first one was Summer Camp and they were going to do other ones um, and then they just seemed to make contact with the Friday the 13th crew and they all got on board. Cool. Yeah, so, um, interesting. Yeah, the multiplayer part. That sounds very yeah, interesting. Yeah, sounds cool. Yeah, that sounds very, very cool. So, for fine five dollars, James. Five dollary dudes. You can get a wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. No, no ringtones. Ring <laughs> and gratitude. No. Okay, if you, want, if you wanted a copy of the game. Yes. How much if, for the early bird, James? Fifteen. Twenty-five dollary doos. Oh. Now it's a thirty dollary doos US, which converted to Australian <laughs> is a lot. A lot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So basically, it's we're like look- fifty bucks. We're looking at, and this is this is still my problem with it. Yeah. As much as I've sold on the idea now, you need five copies, Paul. And and I love Friday the Thirteenth. Like you we need- we James and I watched every series you can think of, basically mm. constantly throughout early twenties and everything. We let, I still haven't seen a lick of gameplay of this. Yeah, true that. Yeah. I've seen some nice scenes and a picture of Jason. Well, like, yeah, like, do, do they and have... I don't know who this team is either. Yeah, like, what are the, no the counsellors doing? 
Like, are they are they hiding? Is this something a bit like Soma style? Is it is it like? I, I think I think it's a, a mixture of hiding and trying to escape. Yeah. So, I mean, hopefully, they don't have guns. It would seem silly. They can fight back. They can they fight can. back. Okay. Well, uh, they, they, fight they have back, to. So that's what the hero girl, final girl. <laughs> um, she has more chance of killing yeah. Jason than anyone else. Oh, Mr. Producer's done the maths for us. Thanks. Forty-one dollars and I'm going to say seventeen cents. Just round up. Rounded it up. Yeah. Go there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. And there. Yeah. So, in uh, fact, yeah. I was going to scroll down to double-check who the team is, but the team is mostly they're list listing the people from front of the first So, yeah. <laughs> One of the issues with the price there is that you do want five copies of that game. Yes. Yeah, and... I mean, it's cheaper than Evolve, so they've got that right. <laughs> um, but it's still going to run into problems there. people still play that? Apparently, yes. It's, uh, not doing, no. it's not doing fantastically, but it's doing okay. I haven't mm. actually loaded it up the in a while. Yeah. The team made Breach and Clear, which was a very cool game, but a very different scope to this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, cool. Let's let's keep moving so we can do it. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. I'm gonna pronounce pronounce. I need to make the text bigger so I can read the words properly. Valtherian Ark, Red Covenant. I'm gonna ask you that name next week. Valtherian Ark. I'm never forgetting it. <laughs> so Valtherian Ark, Red Covenant has that subtitle because this is not the first Valtherian Ark game. How many Valtherian Ark games have you played, James? All eleven. I believe there's only been two previously. That's because you're not in the know. It's true, I'm not in the know. And this is certainly in a, in a genre that is not for me, typically. Although, it did grow on me the more I read it. So basically, this is a game where you can be Dumbledore. <laughs> Dumbledore? <laughs> now, that's the pitch. That's, that's it. That's, it all, that's all they need to say. So this is JRPG style, except you run a school. And you get all the students in, and you have to help the students learn. So you have to manage the school, manage the students. Then you actually take the students out and you do quests with them, and that part's an, uh, an action RPG. So it's not even like when you've got other management games where you send people off and there's a timer. No, it's a full-on game. So the original games are quite sort of RPG maker style. This one, they're keeping sprites for characters, but the world is done meticulously pixel art, but in 3D. I, that looked really nice. I didn't realise that was 3D until they showed that 3D shot. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, so basically, it's a, it's a series that has a following. Uh, it's an interesting premise. They look like they're just sort of upping the tech and they're adding more options to like the bat the battling they've revamped, so it's this more action RPG style. Now you take out four students at once. Uh, I like that you send the students on quests as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All they need is to have different houses that I can give arbitrarily give points to at the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I want. I, I, I always had this thing, um, well not all, I've had this thing for the last few years. Where I just think that Dumbledore's a trolling dick. <laughs> it was like, oh, you've done very well, Ravenclaw, but I've got some bullshit points to dish out now. <laughs> Extra thousand points to Gryffindor. <laughs> Fist bump here, Harry. <laughs> oh, but what's this? One million points for Dumbledore! <laughs> 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 So yeah, um, I really enjoy Valtherian Arc Dumbledore Edition. <laughs> um, so if you are interested in supporting that, oh, I mean, you could just go check out some of the earlier games as well. Uh, at the moment, you can pledge for $8. Oh, no, that's gone. Sorry, I lied. I'm a liar. $9. But that's still an early bird. This is a second early bird tier. Then $10. Yeah. $10? That's... Cheap. That's a good price. Yeah, Dumbledore is a cheap trick, that's for sure. He does give cheap mm. tricks. Okay. Now for the null point. Yes. This is a survival horror game. So, of course, it's isometric. Well, that's the scariest of metrics. It's the <laughs> scary. It's, it's squad-based. Basically, there, there's a backstory where they've discovered this point in space and they go to and there's an ancient ship there and people have landed there and holy joys, everything's gone wrong. Um, now there is a playable alpha for this. Did you play the playable alpha? I did. Yes, and in, in fact, um, so I've I've put the I put the trailer up here first because it shows a little bit more stuff going on. Uh, it's a bit more impressive, but it is super cool. Yep. The the world has hexes everywhere. I, can't, I haven't actually. It feels the movement feels so natural. I'm not actually sure if it's hex based, but it looks it. <laughs> it's actually it gives you a good sense of, of movement and everything as well so anyway the game itself um, it looks really pretty and so it, it matters of, it's sort of roguelike in that you get survivors you can revive other survivors if they're not totally killed uh, and what gets me because I don't know if we'll get to the end of my playthrough here because I was working out what I'm doing 
um, I, when I finally got up to an enemy, you can like go into like Overwatch mode, like I've there, like you know, you point, okay, watch this area, and fire when something comes in. I'm like, ah, an alien starts walking towards me. Okay, bang, bang. Now, if you pay attention here, what I hadn't done, if you look down the bottom, my gun has two bullets. I did not realize that. You need more than two bullets. Oh boy, did I need more than two bullets. And I was severely, really murdered. Paul, did you waste your bullets? I wasted my can bullets. Can you save one bullet I for can, you? I could not, oh, they, they should have that option there. Um, so it was actually surprised that I thought this was actually a very effective horror game was it as well. Was it scary? I thought, I thought it was atmospheric. I didn't have a problem moving forward, which is good for you. I guess. Well, but I mean, it had a really effective atmosphere. Because it's, it's hard for me to be scared when it's, I don't feel like I'm the character. Well, it's still, even when you're looking at this, you know, at the moment, you can't see that whole room. Yeah. There's still stuff that can come from anywhere, and you are very vulnerable. And it's about scavenging, it's about managing your resources, sharing those resources between other characters. What kind of resources? Uh, like health, health kits, ammo. Do they eat or anything like that? I don't believe it's that sort of level. Yeah. Uh, and then there's sort of these, these randomised levels, uh, and then whoever survives, you've got a ship. So you've got this sort of persistent part of the, okay. the environment, which is your ship. Uh, and then you have to keep going back into the null point. So that's a bit like uh, Rogue Legacy? Yeah, a little so bit like that. Yeah. But done in this, yeah, this isometric... We, like, you know, it, it's kind of taps it a little bit into that status look, uh, stasis look as well. Because that was a really cool isometric adventure game. Um, I didn't think this would work. Mm. Uh, and then because they put out a playable demo, I went, I was wrong. So there's no Don't multiplayer in this, is it? It's no, no, it's, yeah. a, it's a single player. You can have up to five people in your crew at once. Yep. Um, yeah, and it's just this, ad, this weird adventure game where you've got a... Well, survival. Survival, squad-based, isometric, buzzwords, <laughs> roguelike. Roguelite, light, roguelite, light. Uh, Drink. Yeah. Drink. <laughs> okay, so uh, if you wanted to pledge for a copy of that game, it's $20. And that's just straight up the game. No wallpaper tears. They just right. straight to the 20. Straight to that. No yeah. wallpapers for you cheapos. You'll never be able to find wallpapers on the internet. They always get weirded out when there's like, oh, well, we, we specialize in wallpapers. It's just, it's just a picture. Can there's, they... there's nothing special about making a what, wallpaper. What about if it wasn't just the wallpaper? It was the whole kind of Windows XP theme. Oh, so, that would be good. So you get some different sounds. Okay. And you get yeah. some icons. We need less banter, I just realized, because we are... We've got like four things to do. Oh, and do we? we? With the show's almost done. So we're going really, really quickly. Two last ones. They both popped up this afternoon. They're both Australian games. They are Party Golf and Death Stare. Now, Party Golf is if you took Desert Golf, with its sort of randomized style levels, and then put but it's a party! four people at once, and you can have power ups and craziness and mess with your friends, and there's like weird modes where like it's fully dark and you only reveal the landscape by, being, by golfing through it. Um, I'm like, this is cool. I'm going to talk about packs or have a beer at least. Well, they can buy some oh. beer. Yeah, uh, there is a demo available for it as well. Uh, I needed four people to do it, so I have not played the demo. Uh, but good stuff. Nice Plus that guy's kind of sexy. Oh, yeah. Okay, um, if you wanted to back for a copy of uh, Party Golf, Party you need Gold! a certain amount of money, which I haven't heard of thing yet. Cost money. I'm going to say yes. How many monies? Ten. Ten monies? Let's find out if I was correct. This is in Australian dollars, so maybe the maybe it's going to be a hundred. Uh, yeah, ten dollars. Nice. Yeah, good call. And if that's you're American, sad. that's like thirty cents. In fact, I think yeah. I think they pay you. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. Okay, uh, and then finally today, the stupidest game that I've seen in a while, Death Stare. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I love puns. I um, love them so much. It's it's four people, three of which are, are trying to run up are they clowns? stairs. Uh, there's lots of different ones, but I think at least one of them is a clown. And if someone else gets to throw shit down the stairs <laughs> to stop them from reaching the Does top. Does the person okay, at the top get fun. to be the one throwing stuff down the stairs? Uh, you, you, I, I don't know, but that seems like a good so game. So many mode. beach balls! Yeah, hurl the beach balls down. And you get down and you're like, this actually looks really fun. It does, it does. <laughs> it's just like, oh, they've got little stairwells you I can hide in. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, I'll get back there. Watch out, you just got scotted <laughs> in the face. And you just imagine this group of friends. It was going to work very yeah. well. So, um, Death Stare, I love the look of it. 
Uh, if you want to pledge for a copy of the game, of just the game as an early adopter, only $5 Australian at the moment. Five. Yeah, that's a good deal. Uh, then it turns into a $10 Australian pledge after that. So, yeah, I, I, I'd play it. Looks fun. Yeah, I'd give it a bell. Okay, so I think that's enough of that. On to Teacher's Game Club. Yes. We dated some dogs. I did. In Hot Date. Yeah. This is an A's choice. An A, why did you yes. pick this game? I don't know. I like dogs. Me <laughs> too. And then, like, pugs wanting to date, dates, I think, is, like, the cutest. Dates are okay. Yeah. And yeah. The... <laughs> I was mainly attracted by the dogs. Yeah. Um, so how was your experience? I, like, I was disappointed. What did you want from it? I don't know. Some saucy dating. <laughs> 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 no, I don't know. Just went around in circles. I'm like, what? I thought I'd be more into this. Well, did you but it's pretty. Did it's you keep pretty. playing it, waiting for something? I only dated two dogs. Just two. Yeah. I, I dated... Then I went back to my single dog life. I, probably, <laughs> I think I dated about probably eight or nine. Whoa. Um, by the end, see how there's a Lucy. clock in the background? Oh. Yeah. I was watching that clock. <laughs> oh, the, there was there were some dogs, because my, my experience was that I started just playing around with it, because there's some bits where you can type and some bits where you just ask questions. Um, and then I'd like ask a question. My, one of my main ones was, have you read Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? And then I'd say, oh, no, I hate bloody d despicable literature like that. And I just stop and I just let that clock run down until the date was over. <laughs> I was like, "Fuck you, dog." <laughs> so I, I kept, I kept, I kept playing because I wanted to find like my the dog that was right for me. Really? And I never did. See, Aww. big problem I had with it yeah. was that I, I was, I saw behind the curtain, and like, so I, the game starts off and they give the, you get the option to type stuff in, and I was like, "Right, okay, they're going to save this and use it." And they use it once, maybe, in the answer. And then they don't reuse it later on. Yeah. So, like, they're collecting all this information that I'm entering in. Like, why why do they not bring back stuff that mm. I typed in for future dates? Like, the, like I'll keep it wanting been there. Cool. I will keep wanting there to be more. And, like, I'd see too much repetition really early. Mm. Like, mm. So, like, I'd ask the same thing in the next dog, and they say the exact same thing, like, the exact same intro. I, I didn't feel like there was enough variety. Yeah, like, how do you, like, go to the next section of it like you just kept going around I think I think it's just speed dating with pugs yeah, yeah I think I think what we're looking at here is the game yeah like I don't believe there's anything else yeah but oh, this, I, I had no trouble with this more. question what are you scared of is <laughs> it no <laughs> <laughs> not being what not being what Paul <laughs> no, I, I was really struggling I was really struggling I'm like no 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 I've got to think this through right okay <laughs> 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 Uh, okay, alright, alright. I, I have a question. Yeah. What is orange and sounds like a parrot? I didn't do this one. Which one is it? Any What is orange mm. and sounds like a parrot? This is great. I asked Cheryl's mum this, mm. and she like stopped for like five minutes thinking about it. She's like, like not giving me. Okay. So, what is orange, what's orange and sounds, sounds like, like a, a parrot? parrot? Okay, I, I can't. I'm not going to bother. We, nah. need, we need to speed up no, anyway. Okay. A carrot. <laughs> oh, the water! <laughs> I love it, I love it. It's good, it's that, a good one. That like joke it. was, that That for me was the highlight. That joke was the best. It's, it's an, so it's, it made the game. It, it, that was the <laughs> highlight for me. So so Amy on the chat has asked, have you played Hatterful Boyfriend? I haven't, I don't know what that is. <gasps> but maybe I will. You... Hatterful Boyfriend is a realistic pigeon dating simulator. Pigeon dating? <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> It has so much ongoing. Like it's a legit amazing okay. game. Yeah. Um, Cheryl, uh, we won't spoil it. We won't Cheryl spoil it. Okay. I think I need pigeon dating in yeah. my life. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's very cool. I think Amy okay. may have guessed. She Cara. did. She what? Guessed, I don't know what the time or the time difference is. No, 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 I think no, she, she got totally it. guessed that. Well done, Amy. Nice I'm work. Impressed. Good work. You're better than Paul. Yep. I didn't even try. You had the answer there. You could have seen it. So um, <laughs> this this was hot date. Uh, that's it. You're looking at it right now. Yeah. Um, I, I, I did become compelled trying to find the pug that loved me the most, though. I thought I just saw wasted opportunity. The amount of pugs that I told, just like I hope I never see you again. <laughs> <laughs> so many broken pug hearts. Yeah. <laughs> no, no the pugs. pugs are all disappointed with me. No. It seemed like everyone did, was. But bored. did you notice that they actually do change like their their body language? Yeah, like the animals. Yeah. Like, they will slump down and they will like perk up when there's like yeah. good responses. Just like arrogant pugs. So pug. I do wonder whether. Like you can win a pug. Like if there's something there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. If we just suck. If we just suck at dating dogs. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. maybe. Are you a dog in it? 
I don't. Are you? I don't like to think I am. Is this but human dating then if hugs? you're not, then it's messed up. I assumed it was what? me dating What? Are we, are we going to get on a high horse about bestiality now? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> get on your high horse. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, so, that's hot date. Next week we are going to play The Mammoth. Now, this is a small cave painting game mm -hmm. made by as my, many of the team behind Spec Ops The ah, Line. It's getting in on that Far Cry action. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's exactly what it is, I think. Okay, uh, so it's time for time for Pick of the Weeks. Pick of the Week. Now, while we consider our Picks of the Week, I've got some special footage just for people. It's, it's, it's thinking footage just to throw on while yep. it goes. Okay, uh, so what's your Pick of the Week, Anae? Um, Probably down well because it surprised me and I wanted to hate it and I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> but it wouldn't let you. <laughs> uh, what about you, James? Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is tough. Look. Mm. I please wanna, please I watch say, the footage while you do this. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on? What? Can it be this? Can this what, yeah, what is this? What's going on? Uh, what are the things that I'm seeing? It's an ad a, a, a to atomically incorrect dinosaur. What? Mm. Silence, you nefarious speed. How you, dare you eat my assassin? Muffled groaning? Polydactus? Did you make this? Is this monstrosity yeah, you're doing? Yeah, it's me. I'm making She's it. She's beautiful. She's, what? The bows make her pretty. <laughs> Have some more girl? legs. Have some more <laughs> arms. Go. What are you doing? What is this in the what background now? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I need to give it more experience, <laughs> and next week maybe I can talk about I, it. <laughs> so, James, what's your pick of the week? <laughs> Look, I was. What? I can't think anymore. <laughs> uh, you know, surprisingly, I'm actually going to give this to Minecraft Story Mode. That. I just close? need to check some more. <laughs> no, no, please don't. Sure. What? No, I, I was. I finished it, and I wanted more. And I'm well, looking forward. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I'm looking forward to playing more. Speaking of which, where the fuck is the second episode of King's Quest? Yeah, where is it? That was months ago. And I've never even told. We don't know what it's called. When it's coming. I... Tweet at them. Tweet. Yeah. Let's tweet. Hey, King's Bold Quest. Tweet. tweet the shit out of it for me because I don't know how Twitter works. I'm too old. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, and well, just just to die in, just to tie in with my old style of not wanting to do the same thing. Uh, I do love Downwell, but I'm going to give it to Mushroom 11. Yeah, I thought you'd go there. Mushroom 11 is like, pretty even, cool. Even though I didn't play Mushroom 11, that, that was cool. almost mine. It's Because it looked game. amazing. Okay, so thank you for watching FMV Games, brought to you by the team at 8.5-Bit and Mr. Producer of StreamedLive.TV. TV, TV, TV. Give us, give us a hand, Mr. Producer. Oh. <laughs> StreamedLive.TV. Watch it with your eyes. Mm -hmm. Into um, your face. We shall see you next week. I've been your host, Paul. I've been James. I've been Anae. And uh, have a good week. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Hello, future.